Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today I'll be reviewing the X-Tool F2 Ultra Fiber Laser Engraving System. Spoiler alert, it is awesome. So today I'm reviewing a fiber laser, the X-Tool F2 Ultra. Now I am a knife maker, so I have some pretty specific uses for this laser, but I'll try to talk about it for general users too. For you knife guys who are just kind of tiptoeing into the laser world and maybe want a little bit more information about how laser engravers work and where this fits into your workflow as a knife maker, stick around a little bit and I'll get to that in a minute. But first, the specs for this machine. The X-Tool F2 Ultra is a 60 watt MOPA fiber laser. Now it has a big brother that has an additional laser, a 40 watt diode laser built into the same chassis, I guess you could say, but that's not what I'm testing here. This is just the straight fiber version with no diode laser. The laser is fully enclosed and comes with a fan, dual 48 megapixel cameras, fire safety stop, automatic laser focusing, and calibration. No more cranking the little handle to set the focal length. It also comes with a tethered controller, so you don't have to jump back and forth from the computer to the unit the whole time when you're doing a you know, multiple type operation. It's got 15,000 millimeter speed, which is smoking fast, 8.6 by 8.6 inch workspace, uh, with threaded screw holes so that you can set up work stops and uh, positioning fixtures in case you're doing, again, multiple parts. The exhaust fan can either vent fumes outside your house or your shop, or it can go into a dedicated filtration system like the X-Tool AP2, which is shown here. You can add rotary devices and conveyors and various other things. That'll allow you to do cylindrical items, uh, larger items that you want to move back and forth underneath the uh, machine. But I did not test any of these accessories. The current price is $48.99, but of course these things change all the time. Uh, the laser does come with its own software. Now, in many cases, the free software that's bundled with lasers these days is kind of cheapy stuff that really sort of lags behind the industry standard stuff like uh, systems like, like Lightburn. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that this has all the capabilities of the best uh, pay software, but I really was never able to hit the ceiling of what this thing was capable of doing in terms of software. So I really like the software that came with it. It has lots of presets, and uh, probably most important, I find it actually a lot easier to use than, say, Lightburn. It also includes like 500 presets, which is nice because every single material requires slightly or sometimes not so slightly different parameters that are tailored to the F2 Ultra and that particular material. Now, some of these presets are a little generic and need to be tinkered with, but still saves a ton of time having a starting point for a particular material. Now, if you've never used a laser before, real quickly, I'll kind of show you a, a typical workflow. There are a million different things you can do with these machines and a million different ways of setting things up, but this will give you a little flavor of, you know, a sort of typical thing that you might do. You create some artwork. Could be a photograph, a JPEG, Adobe Illustrator, doesn't really matter. You tell the program what type of material you're using. You set the focal length and get everything positioned using the internal camera. You can further adjust things physically like so. And you can also vary the speed, the pulse rate, the dots per inch, ton of other stuff. Then you hit the process button. That takes you to another screen. If everything looks copacetic, you hit start. You hit the green button on the little controller. Bam, you're engraving. Now it can get way more complicated if you want, but for something like putting a logo on a knife, it's literally that simple. With a little practice, you can do it in four or five minutes. And how long does it actually take the laser to produce your logo? 
Well, in this case, it takes literally four seconds to do five knives. That is amazing. All right, for those of you who uh, have heard all about all these great things that laser engravers will do, but you don't really know too much about the details, let me back up a little bit and just talk about laser engraving generally and some of the cool things that these machines will do. Now we all have a basic idea of what a laser is. It's a little gizmo that shoots out a thin parallel beam of light. Uh, you can couple a laser with a computer and something to aim that laser and focus it uh, and you can then use it to engrave materials, to cut materials, uh, to burn, just all kinds of cool stuff. You can engrave logos, you can engrave designs, photographs, drawings, I mean it's just amazing the wide range of images that you can do and you can also cut out various materials. Now, there are several different kinds of lasers, but in the price range you know, that we're talking about for more small scale, non-industrial kind of uses, basically you've got two main types, uh, diodes and fiber lasers, which is what the F2 Ultra is. Now, fiber lasers generate the, uh, the light in a slightly different way from diode lasers, but the important thing is that typically, I mean, there are exceptions to all this stuff, but typically fiber lasers use a lens and mirrors to aim and focus the laser, whereas diode lasers typically use a gantry system. Think like a, a 3D printer. You've got this little, uh, you've got the laser unit attached to this gantry that moves it around physically. So the fiber laser is stationary, there aren't a whole lot of moving parts, and so it can go pretty fast, whereas you're limited to some degree with the uh, diode lasers by how fast you can move this stuff around without shaking it to pieces. Diode lasers typically can only produce one wavelength of light. And the implication of that is that there are some things that they can mark on and some things that they cannot. Your typical diode laser is great for wood. It's okay for ferrous metals, you know, steel, which is what us knife makers are, you know, interested in. And for some metals like aluminum and copper alloys, it's just a no-go zone. Diode lasers just can't do it, typically. Uh, so there are all kinds of exceptions, but that's the general idea. Fiber lasers, on the other hand, can actually vary a whole bunch of the attributes. You can change the wavelength, you can change the pulse width, you know, how many times per second it pulses on and off, um, the beam width, uh, just all kinds of stuff. And this makes them really versatile. They'll mark everything from steel to titanium to plastic, copper, uh, aluminum, brass. I mean, just a super wide range of stuff. However, the one thing that they don't play that great with is wood. Uh, what I can say is that having tested a ton of lasers by this point, fiber lasers are just much more useful for what I do than diode lasers. Your results may vary. If you're doing a lot of stuff with wood, whole different ball game. One last quick point. Lasers can engrave and they can cut. Now, you might have heard about lasers that are used to cut uh, blade blanks. The type of lasers that typically do that are big industrial type lasers, CO2 lasers generally, or you know, there are some other ones. Uh, and that's not what we're looking at here. Cutting out blade blanks with something like the F2 Ultra, is that's just not what they're made for. They can cut plenty of other things though, and we'll talk a little bit about that later. Okay, so let's get into what I did to test the machine. Basically, I tested every kind of metal that knife makers would typically use. Obviously steel for starters, I tested high carbon and hardenable stainless steels. These are going to be your go-to steels where you want to engrave your logo, as well as maybe decorative motifs and custom message type stuff like names, quotations, pictures, all that sort of thing. The F2 Ultra will blaze through these materials all day long. Not only does it engrave well, but it engraves fast. And it doesn't just do one thing. You can actually vary the type of engraving you do so as to make lighter or darker effects, surface engraving or deep engraving that leaves a mark you can feel with your finger. You can also engrave sculptural 3D effects, though I have to admit that's not something I really tested. 
but you can see a bunch of people doing cool stuff like that with this machine on YouTube. You can expect to see me doing some of that in upcoming videos, though. You could also engrave austenitic stainless steels like 303, 304, 316, so on. Those would be typically used for bolsters, folder handles, spacers, thumb studs, pommels, cross guards, all that sort of thing. And not only can you produce dark marks, you can also produce colors on certain materials, particularly titanium and austenitic stainless steels like 303, 304, 316, that sort of thing. But I have not experimented with this, so I'm not going to talk about it. I know it's possible, but I just haven't done any of it. I also tested the laser on copper, brass, and aluminum. In fact, I produce a vise for knife makers, shown here, with an aluminum body that I engrave like this. You can also mark anodized and coated aluminum to produce all kinds of cool effects. Speaking of coatings, I've also been using the F2 Ultra to mark my logo on Cerakoted products. These are my Sorrels Brick Grinding Jigs. So if you want to mark firearms coatings, whether on knives or shooty things, easy peasy. The laser also works on plastics like Kydex. Want to put your logo on your sheaths? Fiber lasers are ideal. Everybody loves the Punisher. Not only can you adjust the pulse width so that you don't burn holes in sheaths, something that's pretty easy to do with diode lasers, but you can even produce some color gradation depending on the plastic. You can also engrave acrylic, not typically used in knives, but great for making knife display stands and things of that nature. Some materials will produce noxious gases, so look that up before you start blasting away on your favorite plastic. Now, while I'm on the subject, let's talk about the related issues of enclosures and ventilation. So we'll start with this. First, Lasers can screw up your eyes. So you bounce a laser off some really reflective surface like steel, for instance. As mom used to say, you could put your eye out. Many lasers don't have anything to shield you from the laser, so you need to wear protective goggles around them or spend a bunch of time building clunky home-built enclosures. Ask me how I know. With the F2 Ultra, all that's taken care of. You just lower the shield and you can safely move about the cabin without sweating about lasering a hole in your retina. But this nicely designed enclosure does more than just protect your eyes, it protects your lungs too. Any smoke or gas produced by the laser will be captured by the fan in the back and exited from the machine. At that point, you can either vent them through a hose that goes outside your home or shop, or you can vent them into some kind of filter, as I'm doing here. This is the X-Tool Safety Pro AP2 filtration system. Now, in this review, I'm not going to talk much about the filter, but suffice it to say, it has five replaceable filter stages plus a cyclone stage to take out any larger particles. I've been using it since I got the machine, and it really does the job. I'm not saying you can't smell anything at all when you're engraving, say, micarta or kydex but you barely notice it. So let me summarize. The first takeaway here is that this is hands down the best laser that I've ever used. I've used it nearly every day for the past couple months. It's completely replaced my other lasers for producing logos and maker's marks on literally every product that I make. Knives, of course, uh, I've used it on forged carbon steel knives. I've used it on stainless steel mid-tech production type stock removal stuff. I've used it on Cerakoted blades, but I've also used it on mild steel, on plastic, uh, aluminum, Cerakoted parts uh, in tools that I make. Just a very wide range of stuff. Kydex, I mean, it just, it's, it, it, you know, I use it constantly. Now, as we've discussed, not ideal for wood, but you can use it in a pinch. And so I put logos on the handles of the Japanese scabbard chisels that I sell. Perfect way of doing it, no, it's really not. But with some tinkering, you can get it to work. That said, if marking wood or cutting wood is a big thing for you, you probably want to try the F2 Ultra with the diode laser edition. But for my needs, I mean, it's right in the sweet spot. 
So, I mean, I guess there's not really a ton more to say. Uh, it is fair to say that this is a premium product and that comes, uh, you know, at a price that's appropriate to that. So that's something you have to weigh. Now, I do believe that there is an ROI case to be made for this machine. Uh, and I'll probably get into that a little more in another video. And, you know, it's worth mentioning in that context, uh, the X-Tool F1 is sort of the younger brother to the F2 Ultra. And, you know, if this has more capabilities and maybe is more pricey than what you're looking for, that's something that's worth taking a look at. Now, if you want flashy specs, this laser's got it. I mean, it's got 60 watts, like we've said, wide range of frequencies, all kinds of cool accessories. It's got speed, flexibility, blah, blah, blah. But one thing I wanna point out here is that specs only take you so far. Here's what I mean by that. You know, obviously uh, the specs are, of this machine are on the high end for you know, this sector of the market, but a design is more than just a bunch of specifications. You know, it's a collection of everything. The, the, it's, it's more than the sum of the parts, you know. Um, Xtools obviously look at the needs of users, not just for speed and effectiveness and all the spec type stuff, but for safety, for convenience, for, you know, even the attractiveness of the cabinet and, you know, the feel of moving the enclosure up and down and just little things like that. It all just works in a way that's more well thought out than a lot of the lasers in this, you know, kind of general part of the market. Honestly, I've owned some lasers that really just kind of seemed like a pile of slapped together components. Now look, everybody's different. Uh, for my particular business, uh, you know, this laser's worth having just for doing logos and maker's marks and uh, little signs on my products and stuff like that. Everybody doesn't make the kind of volume that I do, so maybe that's not really, you know, a need for you. However, one of the things to, to think about here is that you know, the coolest uh, tools that I've bought over the years have been things that I went out and I said, I want this for this specific purpose. And then I got the tool and I found that there were about a million other things that it did and I just kept finding more and more things that I could do with it. You know, belt grinders like that. You think, oh, I'm just going to grind knives with it and then you find all these other things you can do with it. I mean, lasers are just limitless. I mean, there's just an amazing amount of stuff that you can do with them. And a laser like the F2 Ultra that's so versatile, it's just gonna open more doors for you. The point is that there's just an entire world of ornamentation and adding kind of sculptural qualities and you know, customization that, uh, that a laser is just gonna unlock for you if, you know, if that's something that you wanna do. Handle engraving, blade engraving, you know, customized names and, and um, uh, images, dates. Uh, this is great for presentations and awards, gifts. You know, when somebody comes to you and says, well, we want to give a, you know, a, a knife to somebody who's retiring and we want some kind of inscription on it. It's really quite easy to put something personalized on there uh, that really increases the value of your knife, lets you charge a little more for it, and uh, you know, it doesn't take a huge amount of artistic skill or whatever. Um, you know, it's just, it's there in the machine and you just need to find it. So, bottom line, I mean, look, I haven't tested every single laser in the world, but all I can say is that the X-Tool F2 Ultra is the best laser that I've ever used. All right, guys, thanks for watching and see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years. So I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. Walter Sorrel's Blades dot com.